In this video, I will show you a hack-like feature of our entire WhatsApp bot series. But before I reveal this incredible secret, you know the drill. If you don't have a bot yet, click the first link in the description, follow the setup guide, and get your bot online. This feature alone is worth the 20 minutes it takes to get started. Alright, let's talk about view once messages. A friend sends you an amazing photo or a critical video, but they send it as view once. You open it, you look at it for a few seconds, you close it, and it's gone. Forever. It's frustrating, especially when it's something you genuinely wanted to keep. What if your bot could act as your personal digital vault, automatically saving any view once media for you? Well, it can, and it's ridiculously easy. Let me show you the core trick first, then we'll get into the settings. Here on my screen, I'm going to have my test account send a view once image to my main account. Okay, the message has arrived. You can see the icon. Now, I'm not going to open it. Instead, all I have to do is reply to this message. And the content of my reply needs to start with just one character, an underscore. I can just reply with underscore or start with underscore then write anything I wish. I'll send that reply. The bot instantly recognizes this command. It intercepts the view once media before it disappears, downloads it, and then sends it back to me as a normal, permanent message. And look at that! The bot has just sent the image to me in my private chat. I can now open it, save it, and view it as many times as I want. It works for both photos and videos. This is the secret. Simply reply with an underscore. Now, let's customize how this works. We need to go into our private message chat with the bot to configure the view once settings. First, let's check the current status by typing view once. The bot tells me notifications are on and the destination is G meaning in a group I had set earlier in this case my recycle bin group. More importantly, where does the saved media go? By default, it goes to your PM. But maybe you have a specific group you use as an archive. You can change the destination. To send it to a group, you first type view once G. The bot will confirm the mode is set to group. But it also needs to know which group. You need to get the JID of your target group and then send the command view once followed by the JID. Now, all recovered media will be sent to that specific group instead. If you ever want to switch back to private messages, just type view once p. And to clear the group JID setting entirely, you type view once clear. It's a complete system for managing this incredible feature. This is one of the most powerful hack features the bot has, but it's not the only one. There are still more secrets to uncover. If you were amazed by this video, you will like those ones too. Go try this out, and I will see you in the next hack.